David Beckham flatly block Meg from Jubilee with no mercy as share special birthday tribute to Queen. Football icon David Beckham and singer Peter Andre have led celebrities' birthday tributes to Queen Elizabeth II as she turned 96 on Thursday, April 21, 2022. Beckham shared a couple of photos of the monarch to his Instagram page, as well as one of him shaking the Queen's hand in 2016 at the Queen's Young Leaders Awards at Buckingham Palace. The legendary football append alongside the pictures, wishing a very happy 96th birthday to Her Majesty the Queen. He added, in this platinum jubilee year we celebrate your incredible service. We are so lucky to have such inspiring leadership for our country. On the other hand, mysterious girl singer Peter Andre also shared a photo of Her Majesty, captioning it, Happy birthday to our Queen. Britain's Got Talent judge David Walliams shared a more comical birthday tribute to the Queen as he shared a snap of himself dressed as the 96-year-old monarch, Happy Birthday Mom, he wrote. Earlier, the Queen had a near miss after her driver was forced to slam on the brakes to avoid colliding with another car. The monarch was in the passenger seat of her Black Range Rover being driven away from her residence when the near miss occurred. Her Majesty travelled to her Sandringham estate in Norfolk on Wednesday via helicopter. The monarch is said to be residing at a cottage there for her 96th birthday. She is reportedly staying at Wood Farm, the same residence Prince Philip made his home following his retirement from public life. On Thursday morning, the monarch's vehicle was spotted pulling out of the estate onto a country road just as a white Nissan Duke was travelling along the road at 30 miles per hour. Her driver had to slam on the brakes to avoid hitting the car. The white car had to swerve and come to an abrupt stop and the Range Rover had to go onto the grass verge to avoid a collision. A passerby noted that the Queen was very lucky as cars in the area are normally travelling more quickly. They said, the Range Rover should have stopped at the junction to let the car go by. We sometimes get cars going much faster along that road so the Queen was very lucky. The Queen was last in Sandringham in February, when she marked the beginning of her Platinum Jubilee year. On the evening prior to her accession anniversary, the monarch hosted a reception for local charities at Sandringham House. Members of the royal family, including the monarch, spend several weeks at the estate every year, usually over the Christmas period. Traditionally, the Queen stays at the property until February 6, the date of her father's death. To mark her 96th birthday, Buckingham Palace released a new image showing the monarch indulging her passion for all things equine. In the photo, she stands alongside two of her prized fell ponies, Bybeck Nightingale and Bybeck Katie, who will be taking part in this year's Royal Windsor Horse Show. The photograph was taken in March by Henry Dolill, who was previously commissioned to take an official portrait of her to mark her 90th birthday. The snap was taken on the grounds of Windsor Castle, which has become the property from which the Queen has conducted a number of her duties recently including virtual audiences. It is also where the monarch and her late husband isolated for most of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Duke of Edinburgh died last April aged 99. A memorial service for the late Duke was held at Westminster Abbey at the end of March and the Queen was among a 1,800-strong congregation who gathered to honour the Prince's life. The monarch's appearance at the service came after she pulled out of attending the Commonwealth Day service due to mobility issues, and has previously spoken about her struggle to move. After retiring in 2017, the Duke of Edinburgh spent a lot of time on the Sandringham estate. He transformed it into an organic farm, reportedly taking great pride in managing the grounds until it was taken over by his son Prince Charles. Her Majesty has previously said that Prince Philip loved the property because the sea was so close, 